Kick it. to get Gordon speed at first driven right center field and deep hit a ton and we are tied Nick Gordon with a pinch hit home run and we're tied at two you see a pitch right down the middle right in his wheelhouse he's up in the count and he does have that type of power to go out straight away center field and Nicky Gordon Where's the best? Gordon now <laughs> one for 14 against Dylan Cease. High fly to deep right field. Gavin Sheets going back. Nick Gordon's done it again. A home run last night to center field and a go ahead home run to right tonight. Looks like someone's starting to swing the bat a lot better. Nick Gordon going deep for the second time in the second of night. That's hit well to left field. Benintendi going back, and it's gone. Correa with a home run to put the Twins on the board. First inning of the first game here two nights ago. Correa hit one down the left field line, and Benintendi was able to steal a home run, but Correa hit it well over his head this time, and now Buxton. A high blast to left field. Buxton tees off and ties the game. A huge home run for Byron Buxton taking over the team lead with his eighth. It's now an eight game hitting streak for Buxton. Oh. Here's Max Kepler the drive to right field pretty deep. Gonzalez is back. He's going to watch it go. It is long gone. Max Kepler continues to knock the ball out of progressive field. That is his 15th career home run here. And the Minnesota Twins who did not have a base runner through the first five and two thirds innings now have a two to nothing lead. Kepler drives it deep to the gap in right center field. He's done it again in Cleveland. Max Kepler with a two run home run and it's a three two ball game. Oh Kep right on the top of the fence and caromed into the seats. Kep with a big fist pump as he rounded first base. Deep to left. Deep down the line, and we are tied. Correa comes through. A game tying home run, his fifth of the year. Fastball, folks. That was a fastball that said, hit me. Ran back inside, and Correa ties things up at three. And here's going to kill off. He's going to pinch hit here. But yes, you make a mistake like that, and the good guys are going to get you. A high drive to right field. Golfed to right and gone. Kepler hitting his sixth of the year, and the Twins strike first. Well, the lineup change move Kepler down to the second spot in the order. Apparently, he likes hitting there because that ball went a long ways. That was that curveball I was talking about, and that thing right down to that danger zone to left-handed hitters. Down and in. A high fly to left field. He has hit it well, and he has tied the game. Well, that's got to feel good. Brushed him back a little bit on the previous pitch, even though it was a breaking ball, but he's able to hang in there on that sweeper and hit it deep into the second deck. And welcome back, Kyle Farmer. He's got himself a hanger. Time to it. Got that foot down, got the barrel out front, and then we'll catch it on the way up. That's that good sound you love to hear as a hitter. Hit hard to left field. Hap is going back. He's at the wall. Gone! Oh, a home run! Kirillov's first of the year to the opposite field. Like that one. Wow! This is a big swing right there. One that he's been waiting for for a, a few days. Foot's down. Right in that zone where he does damage. And he knew it immediately. Wisniewski knew it immediately. He put his head down as soon as Yellow made contact. Now hit to center and hit well. Bellinger's back to the wall. Gone. He's got another one. Tremendous power by Alex Kirillov. One to left and now one to center. This ball straight away center. We said when he's right. A deep drive to right field. Another home run after a great at bat by Jorge Polanco.
Head down a contact, he knew it immediately. That is the best feeling you can have as a hitter. It almost feels like nothing. Just jumps off the bat. It's pure. Drive left center field and deep. Back and gone. Correa joins the home run party. Five for the Twins this afternoon at Target Field. It's got to be a good feeling for him to see this settle into a Cubs fan's hat out there with a nice play at the end of her. Nice catch at the end of this play. If you're wriggling, you don't throw this back, you're getting booed out of the stadium. But <laughs> there it is. A cap catch. A high blast to right center field. She is gone. That's why you pull that pink bat straight out of the box right there. Fresh lumber got it up there in right center field. That's the big hit they've been waiting for with two outs. Nice job by Larnick. Getting recalled yesterday. One for three in the ballgame and then gets a center cut. 87 miles an hour. Head down. Just a perfect swing right there. And there goes another one. Oh my. Two more for the Twins. Gallo with another tape measure home run. His ninth of the year. Oh, he might have found a new home in the leadoff spot. You get him more at bats. He goes up there aggressive his first two times. This one, another one way out there. We had Glenn Perkins out there. But he was trying to send him a souvenir. This ball got a long ways out of here as well. A high fly to left center uh, field and deep. And gone. A two run home run. And the hits just keep on coming. A lot of Cubby Blue heading to the exit right now. You, know, you bring in a position player, you hope he's going to save your bullpen, but it's kind of what you don't want to see if you're David Ross. Is nobody missing a barrel? This ball is hit as high as it was far. You look back at the end of the year, we'll count on the back of the card just the same. A couple of seven run innings for the Twins in this romp. A high fly to right field. Deep to the corner. And gone. Polanco with a home run down the right field line. His fourth of the year. And it's a 5 2 ball game. A drive right center field. Deep and gone. And we are tied at six. Love it. Luxie starts it off. Polanco, another good at bat, having a great day. And then Larnick. Barreled two balls and did not try to change anything. Went up there. Farmer with a drive to left field. He's hit it well. Peralta back at the wall. Gone a home run. Kyle Farmer with a two-run home run on the ninth. And the Twins have doubled their lead. He's swung back very well since he's come back after that brutal injury. He's looked comfortable in the box. Second home run since his Return from the injured list, and this is some insurance you love to see. One down, and now Buxton hit a short fly ball to left his first time up. Drive left center field. Hit pretty well. Upman's going back, looking up, and that ball is gone. Byron Buxton has tied the game with his ninth home run of the year. Yeah, he's having a great series. He can just take over a ball game with so many different elements. Gets himself in a hitter's count. Gets a good pitch to hit. I think got out of here by quite a bit. Day game ball travels here a little bit more. Gallo on for two strikeout and a ground out. Now Gallo gets one to center field. Going back is Outman still going back, and we are tied. Joey Gallo to straightaway center field. And the Twins tie it up with another home run. <laughs> Outman went after this ball like he thought he had a chance, and this thing got out of here by about 25 feet. Going out there dealing, doing what he does. And now a drive deep to the left field corner, and the Twins have taken the lead. Willie Castro tees off on the first pitch of the seventh inning. Well, from the right side of the plate, they bring in another lefty to turn him around. And he knew immediately this ball got about 10 rows back down that left field corner. Look at the boys in the dugout, see Carlos up top. Driven to right down the line towards the pole. He tucks it in. A home run just over the wall and just fair down the right field line. Well, he was running hot out of the box because he wasn't sure how much top spin this ball had on it. But he hit it 349 feet. When he gets that ball up in the air, when he makes contact in, on it. Now Karoloff drives one to the left field corner and deep. That ball is. Oh, wow. 
Are you kidding me? He did not catch it. Moniak almost made a great catch. Instead, Kirilov, just out of his reach, hits his third home run of the year, and it's a one run game. A high fly to left center field. This one's got a chance. Back it goes, deep it goes, and gone. And the Twins are on the board. Second deck home run for Kyle Garlick, and there's a start, and the Twins are down 4 1. Nobody out here in the eighth inning. Slider out over the plate, and he was all over it. High fly, left center field, deep toward the bullpen. Gone! Byron Buxton with a two run blast. Well, the spark or the big hit you were missing last night. We're able to find it tonight. Buck takes care of it himself and goes out there, gets himself a split middle in. Hit hard to left field. Gone oh, a home run. That's how you break a slump. Taylor hitting his sixth home run of the year. A big swing. This wakes this crowd back up. And the 0-1, a fly ball, left center field, in the gap and deep. Hanniger going back at the track, at the wall, it's gone! Lead off home run for Eddie Julian. And the Twins have a 1-0 lead here in the opening inning. Eddie Julian's third Major League home run as he fires the bleachers in left center field, and the Twins are on the board, leading one zip, one batter in. That was the slider, and that one stayed up, and Julian found the bleachers in left. One thing. Here's a drive to left field. That ball is hit a ton. Goes screaming into the facing of the second deck. 3-2 sinker in there. Jeffers turned on this. Almost knocked the second deck down. This ball was 110 miles an hour off the bat. This was in the first inning when the Giants left those runners out there with less than two outs. They stranded three again last inning, and all of a sudden. Karoloff goes. Pitch high and deep to center field. Marshall going back. Still going back. It's gone off his glove and over the fence. Willie Castro goes deep, and the Twins are back in front. Carry and digging, kind of reversed the spin on that slider there. Went down and got it. I don't think that ball was leaving the ballpark. Tremendous effort out there. The glove, the top of the wall, and then over. A high blast to center field again. Varsho back. That one's gone. Unbelievable. Just barely over the wall and into the bullpen. It never gets old. Great swings. Look how close he came to this one. This he had one that in his glove, too. Wow. To center. Deep again. Varsho back. Gone. Another home run for Willie Castro. Stays on this pitch. Not worried about getting jammed. Not worried about. Zipper getting that ball inside on him. He's seeing it right now. Just perfect extension right through that ball. Hit well to left. Back and gone. Another one to the opposite field for Edward Julian. Lean back on this thing and squared it up. Clears that front side, head down. Everything in sync, and he keeps swinging the bat like this. It's hard not. It's going to be hard not to have him on the roster when they driven deep to the right field corner. He's hit it hard, and that's gone. It hit the foul pole. A home run for Royce Lewis to right field. Absolutely incredible. He nearly hit one out in the first inning. He goes oppo to put the Twins up three nothing. Jeffers Castro. And Solano do up. A drive to left field. A bullet. Gone. A home run. Ryan Jeffers jumps on the first pitch and puts the Twins up by two.